All right, in this video, we're going to look at three examples of the triangle angle sum theorem. And what we're going to do in a minute, uh, we want to find each value x in these three triangles. But before we do that, I'm going to draw a triangle real quick. Just making it totally random. And let's use this protractor and let's find all three of these angles in the triangle. So what I'm doing is, is I'm lining up the center point here on the protractor and then we want to rotate the protractor to where we can line up zero with one of the uh, sides of the triangle. And then we measure this angle right here. This angle is roughly 10, 20, 30, 35, let's say 36 degrees, pretty close to 36 degrees. Let's do the other two as well. Now to do this top angle up here, I need to rotate the protractor. I'm going to line up the center point on that angle. And now let's line up a zero. So we got zero lined up pretty good. Zero right there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, uh, 11, 12, 13, around 114 degrees. It's an obtuse angle because it's bigger than 90 degrees. And now let's do this last one. So again, I'm lining up that center point on the protractor. And let's line up zero. And it's pretty good right about, let's say there, it's pretty good. All right, so there's zero, 10, 20, 30. Look, it looks like it's right about uh, pretty close to 30 degrees, right on point. Now, why did I do all this? Well, if we look at these three angles, which we have measured, if we add these together, 114 plus 36 plus 30, 4 and 6 is 10, put down our 0, carry our 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, and then there's 1, 180 degrees. There's your triangle angle sum theorem. I drew a totally random triangle. If we add up the three degrees inside of it, this is your rule or your thing that you want to remember about three angles in a triangle. The three angles will always add to give you 180 degrees. That's what the triangle angle sum theorem is. So let's uh, write that down. The sum of the three angles in any triangle will always be 180 degrees. With that in mind, these three examples down here, we're given two angles, we need to find the third angle. So what we can do, you can either add these two together and then subtract that number from 180, or you could take 180 minus 65 minus 57. It's entirely up to you how you want to do that. So take your 65 and 57, add those two together. If you add 65 plus 57, you get 122. And then if we take 180 degrees minus 122, because we need that third angle right there, Subtracting that, you get 58 degrees. So therefore, x is going to be equal to 58 degrees here. And you can double check your work. What you can do is you can add all three of these numbers back up, add them back together. 58 plus 65 plus 57 is equal to 180 degrees. So that's our solution to this problem here. Now, this second triangle, same idea, we can add these two angles together. 130 plus 20 is going to be 150. If we take 180 minus 150, you get 30 degrees. So therefore, x is equal to 30 degrees in this one right here. Maybe I should draw some arrows to point out which problem goes with which one. All right, so there's two examples. And now this third example here, you only see one number, but if you recall a right angle, which is represented by that, that little square right there, that always represents 90 degrees. So we can add 90 plus 40, that gives us 130. 180 minus 130 is equal to 
50 degrees. So therefore that angle right there, x, is equal to 50 degrees. And don't forget any of these problems you're doing when you want to check your work, just go back and add up all three of your angles. For example here, 130 plus 20 is 150, 150 plus 30 is 180 degrees. And then this one right here, 90 plus 40, that's 130. 130 plus 50, that's equal to 180 degrees. So don't forget the triangle angle sum theorem. The sum of the three angles in any triangle will always be 180 degrees. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.